Letters from God, Letter 14, Society with God. Hello, my dear son. Good morning. Today I decided to write these lines to tell you that you are very special to me. I created you, redeemed you, and soon I will come to take you to live together for all eternity. Life is made up of choices, and I chose to save you. Now it's up to you to choose whether you want to be saved. I will write to you about a subject related to your choice. Generally, humans choose what suits them. However, be careful. The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? Jeremiah 17, 9. When making choices, there is no doubt that where your interest is, there your heart will be also. This is biblical, Luke 12, 34. I ask you, my beloved, where is your heart today? You know that it belongs to me. The enemy came to this world to steal, kill, and destroy. His goal is to steal you from me and end your life. Everything I created and saw that was very good, he tries to reverse or counterfeit what was created. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Psalm 24, 1. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. Haggai 2, 8. Beloved, the world belongs to me, and everything in it, including you, belongs to me. I am the one who takes care of you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. I am the one who gives you everything you have. Do not say to yourself, my power and the strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Deuteronomy 8, 17. Of all that you have received from my hands to be a steward, I only ask that you give me 10% of your income, for with this, I will build my house to receive your worship. You cannot touch these 10%, for all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. Leviticus 27.30 The patriarch Jacob was an example of faithfulness to me. He made the following promise. If God will be with me and will watch over me on this journey I am taking and will give me food to eat and clothes to wear so that I return safely to my father's household, then the Lord will be my God and this stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house and of all that you give me, I will give you a tenth. Genesis 28, 20, 22. I am always faithful to humanity. I was faithful to Jacob and loved his faithfulness. I blessed him abundantly. I have blessed everyone who is willing to be faithful to me. You might even ask me, if you own everything, why do you need the tithe? Well, I'll tell you. Don't you know that those who serve in the temple get their food from the temple, and that those who serve at the altar share in what is offered on the altar? In the same way, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should receive their living from the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9, 13, 14. Trust me, my son. You know that the tithe is not a human invention. It is true that sometimes someone may be tempted to misuse the tithe, but don't worry about that. I will settle accounts with that person. Be faithful to me, and I will be faithful to you. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. Malachi 3.10 This is the order, my son, now the choice is yours. I hope you have understood this matter of tithes and offerings for my house, and that from today you can do the following. 1. Manage wisely what I entrust to your hands. Luke 12, 16, 21. 2. Be a partner with the Lord, your God. Proverbs 11, 24, 25. 3. Give with joy. 2 Corinthians 9, 6, 7. Remember this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9, 6, 7. What will you decide, my son? Tell me in your letter. I am eager to receive news of your choice today. Affectionately, your God.